I'm now going to show the use of multi-core cabling in C Electrical. So this is C Electrical V8R2. Let's take a section here connected between the terminals and the motor and see how we can assign a multi-core cable. Under the electrical toolbar, we can go straight to the cable command. And rather than use any of the existing lists at the top, we can go straight to default and simply define a line through those, either directly across or at an angle. And the software will prompt us for a cable identification, a description, perhaps a length, and it's assigned the core numbers already. So we can click OK, and we've got a multi-core cable on there. Let's look at that again using one of the graphics that it provides us. So I'm going to delete that, and go to electrical and cable again. Only this time I'm going to use one of the graphics that's provided on the left-hand side. So I'm going to go to diagonal number. Click on OK. This time I'm forced to draw this horizontally. I click for an end and again I can type the same sort of information and again it's numbered the cores for me. Let's try one of the other graphics. Again I'm going to select all cores are highlighted in the same group. Hit delete and go to electrical and cable and this time I'll go to C cable number. Click OK and again define from the left to the right and this time I have a kind of fob on the left hand side with the cable name followed by the core information. Let's have a look at one more cable graphic under electrical and cable and let's choose a shielded dashed with two connections on it. Click on OK and this time for the last connection I'm going to finish on the earth core and again type the core information or the cable information in. Now we have some settings which we can also apply to this. So if I remove this back into electrical, on the bottom right hand corner you have the settings for the cable. When you click on this we can set up for instance to rotate the cable core attributes. We can set up the cable core attributes and say every time we draw across some wires make the wires dashed. We can say every time you place a cable, let's use a prefix of cab and number this by the code cab followed by sequence number. We've also got settings there for the text, the font, the height, and we can change those if we need to. So with those changes, let's just try that again under electrical and cable. I'll go back to default, draw across, comes up calling it cab1 this time. If I put some colour information on here I can say that this is perhaps brown, black, I'm using the down arrow here, grey and maybe green yellow for the last one. To turn a group of these cable core numbers or colours on or off I hold down shift and click one of them. Click on OK and I can see that, that information is now appearing on there. We can place cores of cables individually as well. So by going into the cable symbol group, clicking on symbols, we can see the individual symbols that are used to make up the graphics for the multi-core, usually made up of a start, a middle, and an end. So for instance, if we can choose start, number, or color, place this on the cable, coming up and calling it cab2. If I place another one, this might be part of the same cable. So I could change that to say cab2 again. This is core number 2. If a separate cable is used for each of these, I can now hold down control, drag these across whilst holding control to copy across for cable 3. So we can either use multiple symbols at once using the cab cable symbol, or we can place individual symbols using individual symbols for cables and associate them with the same device ID.